<laughs> this is the view, Naomi. Yeah! <laughs> Hundreds of major earthquakes, magma shifts, giant geyser eruptions, and the discovery of a new crater in the Norris Geyser Basin have scientists on edge and scrambling for answers. In a startling geological episode, the Yellowstone National Park area has once again shocked the world. On a seemingly calm and sunny morning, a team of scientists from the United States Geological Survey USGS, was stunned by an extraordinary sequence of natural events. Hundreds of significant earthquakes shook the region, magma shifts haunted the landscape from within, a giant, long-dormant geyser erupted again, and most shockingly, the discovery of a new crater that raises major questions about Yellowstone's volcanic activity. More than 350 earthquakes were recorded in less than 24 hours, with some reaching magnitudes above 5.3. This series of quakes spread across the Yellowstone caldera, known as one of the world's largest supervolcanoes, Geologists called it one of the most intense seismic activities in the region in the past two decades. However, this tremor was just the beginning of something far more complex and possibly more dangerous. Researchers from the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory YVO, immediately reviewed seismic and GPS data. Initial results indicated ground heaving of up to 7 centimeters in some spots, likely due to pressure from the movement of hot fluids or even magma chambers beneath the surface. These earthquakes are not random. There is a suspicious migration pattern southwest of the caldera, said Dr. Miguel Hernandez, a volcanic geophysicist at Stanford University. This could indicate shallow magma movement or a hydrothermal system undergoing drastic pressure changes. Shortly after the initial tremor, a giant geyser believed to be Behemoth Geyser, one of the largest geysers ever recorded but dormant for over 70 years suddenly erupted, spewing hot water and steam over 300 feet high. The eruption caught scientists monitoring earthquakes near the Norris Geyser Basin by surprise. There was no warning. We were just discussing increased thermal activity in the area when the explosion occurred, Carson said. The sudden eruption shook the ground and created a rumbling sound like the roar of a giant engineer natural boom that echoed for up to five kilometers. Some park visitors, who were quite far away, thought a plane had crashed or there had been an underground explosion. Behemoth Geyser had long been considered perpetually dormant. The last recorded activity was in the early 1950s, and since then, it has shown only sporadic bubbling that never developed into a full-blown eruption. The geyser's return on such a large scale raises major questions among scientists. Why now and what does it mean? This isn't just ordinary geyser activity. The scale and power of Behemoth's eruption indicate that the pressure below the surface has reached a saturation point, said Dr. Lin Zhao, a hydrothermal expert at the Earth Dynamics Institute. Some researchers suspect that Behemoth's eruption could be the result of extreme pressure from a hydrothermal system disrupted by magma migration or pressure changes in an underground hot water reservoir. But the highlight of this surprising event was the discovery of a new crater in a remote area southwest of the caldera formed overnight. The crater, about 40 meters in diameter, indicates a massive release of energy from beneath the surface, which could indicate a new magma chamber or previously undetected hydrothermal activity. 
This discovery immediately caught the attention of the global scientific community. Many wondered, was Yellowstone entering a new phase of volcanic activity? Some scientists began to draw a connection between this increased activity and the discovery of a new crater that had suddenly formed near the Lower Geyser Basin. Recent satellite imagery showed that the area had previously exhibited no surface anomalies, but now it appeared to be a wide fissure with steam constantly billowing from it. While this phenomenon is highly unusual, experts say there is no immediate indication that Yellowstone will erupt anytime soon. Nevertheless, this increased activity serves as a sobering reminder that Yellowstone is an active volcanic system that is constantly evolving. This is a reminder that Yellowstone is alive. We must remain vigilant and continue to closely monitor any changes, Carson said.